How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of RL Craft. Today, what we're going to be doing is taking it nice and slow. I want to set some farms up so that way we have resources on hand instead of just trying to scramble per episode here. So the first thing that I want to do is actually bring some grass downstairs because right now we have some sheep over there, but there's no grass for them to regenerate their wool on. So I need to get grass down there and it's easier to do this than go try and get Silk Touch up and running, which I think we still need to get one more level in our magic before we're able to use enchantment. Chance, so that's probably something I can't do still right now, but uh, we do have some XP levels built up in our booklet over there So we can buy one thing I believe right now. So let's take this guy and take all the points Oh, there we go 17 points in our inventory cool Let us level up our defense a little bit more. We got nine points left over we can buy uh, we can do one agility or farming, but I'm going to hold on to the points for right now so that way we can buy the rest of the defense stuff so we can start using diamond armor. I also want to say thanks to Aaron for letting me know that we can get the frost rods that we're looking for from the mobs that spawn in the blue water pits. So the green one that we fell into in the desert, it's similar to that, except instead of being green, it's like a bright bluish. So they spawn out of those things. I had, luckily enough, two of them in our wintry area that we were running around in last episode. But on this one over here, I went ahead and set up a little dark room so that way we can have them spawning in it a little more frequently and I've only had one Windigo spawn so far so I still don't have any of the frost rods that we're looking for but that is something that I will continue with off camera here maybe during a stream or something I'll set up another one because we do have two of those locations over there so uh, I'll try and get the stuff sorted hopefully before winter rolls around but that's something that may or may not happen. I also want to go find some pigs probably, right? Maybe. Or turkeys. Pigs, turkeys. Stuff that we can farm up for food because we got sheeps, we got cows. We just have to wait for the grass to spread. And then I'm going to also probably end up digging out an area to start growing wheat and uh, probably carrots and other stuff like that. Oh, the grapes especially, right? The grapes can turn into wine, I think. And that's actually something that we want to try and start making. Can we learn about this guy? Cool. Thank you. I'm actually not even going to bother with the pigs because we get leather and beef from the cows. So realistically, there's no point in doing the, uh, the pigs as well here. So I'm just going to not bother with it. One of the things that I do want to try and get here is one of these special tools built right we had this thing built last episode I don't think I showed it but we built this thing and in order to get like a good pickaxe I need to start fighting some of the geo dudes I forget what they're called but they spawn when we break anything or related a little more frequently right so I want to yeah we should be good there I'm gonna go mine some coal until we get some of them to spawn and we're looking for their head, I think, or their tail or something. I forget exactly, but we're looking for something from them. There we go. We finally got one to spawn. These are the guys that we're looking for because we can make a really good pickaxe with their uh, their arm right there that's dangling over. Although I don't know if I can kill this guy because he's not taking any damage. Or he's taking a little bit of damage. There we go. Now it's, now it's going. Uh, can we kill you, please, before you kill us? I don't know why I'm waiting to attack with my sword. We have a quick like attack with this thing i'm just not swinging that was stupid of me but did we get a limb i don't think we did we got a bunch of coal on the ground and it doesn't look like it dropped anything either we do have a couple parts of of other mobs right now we have a claw from a reaper and ooh, uh, i think something else from another thing i don't remember off the top of my head what it is but we have two things that i don't think make any cool weapons right now the other thing that we have is a darkling skull so this should i believe give us leech when we make a weapon with it so i want to very quickly see what the uh, the actual setup is for the thing because this uh, ui over here isn't exactly the most useful thing so i'm going to very quickly look it up and see if we can even make a weapon with that right now so i don't think we can actually make a tool right now because i think we need more parts to make the whole thing here but the only part that I can see currently that we can craft just normally is this thing here and we can also make a steel version but I don't have steel so we can't do that just yet but we can put this in as the base right yeah we can't put it anywhere else except for the blue one and then we would need to put the head in which is this guy I think and oh we actually I guess can craft that it only does two damage though, that's pretty bad. We can also add more stuff in. So you know what, hold on one second. Can we also put in the Reaper hand thing that we have as well? So maybe, maybe not. Yeah, it doesn't let me do that. Okay, so can I swap that out for the hand? I cannot. Can I swap it out for this thing? I cannot, okay. So right now we can make this. It's not going to be super great. 
It's going to do just a little bit of damage, but it's also going to heal us. Hopefully, at the same time, we also have Blood Moon Rising, so I imagine I'm about to get just stomped on here in a second. So, for right now, I'm going to just make it... Oh, actually, I can't. I can't even craft it. Okay. So, this is something that we will come back to as we start building up more of the uh, the mob pieces here and there. So, uh, I gotta keep an eye out and actually try and kill a whole bunch of different things here to try and get the other pieces and parts here. Well, the Blood Moon is helping out nicely here, let's pick up our last level, or not our last level, but the next level of defense so we can start using our diamonds. And then we got 10 points left over. I'm going to also store those until we can go ahead and start leveling up our other thing here. But now we should be able to take all of our diamond gear and start crafting it up here. So that should be fairly good. Hopefully it makes a difference in our defense. And we don't just waste all our diamonds here and then immediately get murdered and lose it all. So we got seven left over. That's going to go into a weapon when we do get around to it. But we now have almost the full armor set thing. And then we have, was that, three and a smidge of... Blue armor? I don't know what that is. I'm gonna very quickly do the armor thing with these guys as well, just to see if we maybe get something good. Alright, well it didn't turn out too bad here. We got a masterful helmet as well as a pair of boots, and then we got arcane on our chest piece and our pants. So I'm going to re-roll our pants, because they have a little bit less defense compared to the chest piece, and maybe we get something better on there. Please don't be crumbling. It was crumbling. Okay, well, dang it. We don't have any more diamonds, so I can't re-roll that again, but uh, we almost got a full thing of armor now down on the bottom there, so that's neat. So during the Blood Moon there, we killed a special zombie and it dropped a crossbow. So hopefully this does more damage than than our bow and arrow does right now. We also don't have any arrows really. We have a couple from, from a mob, I think, or one of the chests we looted a while back. I don't exactly remember where we got these from, but let's see how much damage it does if we can find something to kill. Finally, we found some stuff to kill here. So we were able to kill a zombie with one shot, I believe, to the head with our bow and arrows. So yep, we can still do it with this. I don't want to fall in there. That would be bad. And can we do that to the thing? We can indeed. Okay. Forgot what it was called. They're a spider genius. There we go. So was there another one of the little blue dudes here? We got that guy. We've seen, or actually I've seen these guys in between episodes over by the snowy place. I've killed one of them before, I think. If I could actually, thank you. Holy smokes. But there we go. Cool. So this thing is pretty good. We're also shooting diamond arrows right now because that's all I had from looting, I believe. So that's also why we're probably doing a lot of damage as well. I think it does like 50% of damage or something like that. I gotta very quickly read it before we waste all the arrows. It was the armor piercing on this that does 50% damage. So right now I'm just gonna leave it in our chest until we want to start using it. We are kind of fine with the bow and arrow at the moment. And it also looks like our wheat is actually growing. So we can start digging out an area over here to start having a crop field down here at least, especially during winter so the water hopefully doesn't freeze over, which I'm gonna have glowstone probably near it so it shouldn't freeze over regardless. Oh boy, this episode is all over the place for me, but we finally have our grass somewhat moving down to where we need it to go, so it's, it's almost there, but it's going to move once it does get here. This is not going to be our animal pen. We are going to move it probably to this area or to that side of the base, but I'm not 100% on it right now. I just want to get the grass here, and then we'll, we'll decide on it later. But I have been a little busy. I carved out a little bit of an area, not too busy big but we have a little 9x9 nine nine for the wheat and then I have a little 3x9 section here and that is going to be for aloe vera so I went back to the desert biome and I luckily found a couple pieces of it so we want to take that right now I also grabbed some cactus so that we can start growing that as well because for the greenhouse glass we're going to need the cyan dye so we need grass or cactus growing not grass so that we can get the cyan dye rolling in as well here, but we're gonna let this stuff grow. And the reason that we wanna start growing the aloe vera here is because we use that to make these band-aids. So we want to start crafting these guys. I don't know if they're better than these ones, Although these heal three hearts over four seconds, but you have to open up the little menu and then you have to spend, is it two seconds or three seconds to actually put the band-aid on? But with these ones, all you do is just hold it and it auto heals you for a heart every time it triggers. So I'm going to start making these ones. You just need one aloe or the healing salve, which the healing salve also needs aloe for. So, I mean, we might as well go with the cheaper route, right? So we're going to make these ones moving forward and that's why we're going to have these guys growing here. So that's what I've been up to here. I also have the, the XP book completely filled up here. So we have 12 levels right now 
Can we buy? Yeah, we can buy stuff. Um, let me actually just take all the levels with this. We have 32 currently. Can we get our attack up to 16? We can indeed. So we still have another 25 levels. Let's also level up this once, right? That takes us to the next level to use whatever that has available to us now. I click the wrong button. And we should also do our gathering, I suppose, to get that up to 12. And then, how do I go back on that, dang it? I keep clicking the wrong button. Let's go with, oof, uh, mining would be nice. But we also, yeah, let's just do mining if we can. That'll take us to 11. We're one level short. Okay. So, let me go get a level. And maybe we can also get that as well here in a second. I've tried to farm up as many animals as I can, or mobs as I can, but they're just not dropping their pieces. I don't know how rare that thing is, so I need to go find something to kill, get another level or two here, and we should be good to go. Also, in between cuts here, I was able to level our pixie guys, right? Pixies? Yeah, pixins up to level two. So now we see all of their stats here, and we can also summon them in if we want to use them. So to do that, we need to craft one of these guys, which we have the stuff to do. I just want to very quickly go find something and get a level from it. Oh, we got a troll down here. If we can kill this, this goes toward one of our... Oh, that's not good. What is that guy? Oh, he's dead. What am I getting hit by? Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to die to you. I don't want to die to you. I don't want to die to you. Thank you. Troll man's going to kill me with one shot here because I didn't realize how low our health just got. Uh, we want to run away from him. Uh, nope. Okay. We also want to heal as much as we can before we get hit by these guys. Uh, if we're able to kill one of them, like I said, we complete one of our quests that we have from them in our book. Which we've killed one in the past, but it, I guess it didn't count because we didn't have that quest unlocked by then. I don't really want to fight both of these guys at the same time here. That's not ideal. We can also, by the way, craft a diamond shield. That's something that we also want to craft, but we don't have any diamonds at the moment. Why are these guys regening? That's not doing us any favors here. There we go, we got one. We got one. I don't see any ladders on the ground, so we can't run away from this guy just yet. But if we are able to kill this one as well, that would be really nice. We got four levels already just from one of them. I'm in a corner and a bad corner. Okay. Yeah, that was bad. Oh, nope. He's poisoned. Come on. Come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Run button. Uh-oh. I got a Darkling that spawned as well. That's bad. Oh, we actually got it. We got it really, we got it really quick. Oh, no, 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 no. We're going to die. There's so much stuff spawning. No, another Darkling. Oh, man. We almost had that. Oh, nice. We got the Darkling to attack the troll. That was good. Okay. Uh, if we can get down without taking too much damage, let me just very quickly... Oh, we got these guys spawning. No, 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 no. I need to light this place up real quick because we can probably win this if we do this quick enough here, not have to deal with a bunch of other random stuff. Well, this is a bit cheesy, but it's working, so you know what? I'll take it. Never mind. We died instantly. That was bad. I'm a little concerned that our stuff might despawn. Because we are taking quite a while to get back down here. There we go. We got that guy dealt with. This guy needs to get dealt with as well because he's kind of an issue. But now we're good. Okay. We should be able to grab all of our stuff. I just want to very quickly grab as much of it as we can because we are kind of eating into that despawn timer. But that's a friendly guy. We're, all, we're good. Okay. So let's just make sure we grab everything and nothing despawns. That would be really great. All right. Well, I think I got everything back. So that's a good sign. I'm also going to run the diamond sword because we can use that now. And it doesn't seem to be affected by the shield like the other sword is right now. So for the time being, I'll rock it until it's no longer useful to us. But uh, so far, it seems good. All right. Anyways, I also want to craft up this thing as well to see if we can farm up the little pixie dudes. If we can kill them when we summon them, then that's going to be kind of good for us because that's how we get glowstone right now. If we can't kill them, then it is what it is, I guess. Not, not really a big issue, but we summon them like that. Do we have to hold it? Maybe? I have no idea how this works. There we go. Okay, so then can we kill... Oh, we can't kill it. Oh, that stinks. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of them. Well, yeah, we can't kill them, so... Dang it. 
that doesn't really do us any favors here. I kind of want to see how much they help us in a fight here. So come over here, zombie. The chupacabra is finally coming. Cool. Hopefully that's the one that's on our screen. The pixie guys aren't even down here. There was one a second ago, unless they despawned already, in which case that's not great for us. But uh, let me summon another one in. There we go. And it's immediately fighting the thing. Good. That is great for us. I don't have any torches, so we're going to have a Gru spawn on us eventually here, which I don't really want to do. But uh, it did fairly good against that guy. We also did damage it already, so it wasn't like a full health thing. But, I mean, it helped a little bit here. Not too bad. Another mob that I want to add to our summoning list are the Aegis guys, because apparently they're like top tier summoning things. They do a lot of damage. They're really good in fights. So I want to start learning about them as much as I can. And currently we have zero knowledge on them. So we have to start from scratch. We have to get them all the way up to a thousand. And so what I want to do is actually look for the special variants of these guys. Right now, if I scan one of them, it's just going to be a hundred points. And I don't really want to do that because of the cooldown on the little tablet thing. So if we can find a special one and find five of those over the course of the next few minutes or just camp the uh, special one for the next little while, we can get the summoning thing done for them as well today. Is there any of these things? No. There might not be enough villagers in this town anymore for the uh, the bounty system to work. Like, I've only seen three of them, I think, so... That might not be something that works anymore in this area, but uh, hopefully the Aegis keep spawning. There we go, we finally got a rare one to spawn. So it should give us 200 points, and it did indeed. So I'm going to hang out in this town unless something happens, like a random event that kills everybody else, but I'm gonna stay until we can scan that guy again in another 300 seconds so i'll be right back all right this should be the last one here so now we should be at a thousand points although it didn't pop up on the screen there but it should be in here and it is indeed okay so i want this guy to be number one and we have three of them to choose from let's go with the normal one since it's blue right and we're gonna have them set to aggressive as well as just follow i suppose and we're gonna leave them on number one and now, when we summon things, it should be those guys. Actually, hold on one second. How much summoning does it take? It takes four bars of our mana, so we can summon in at least two of them. Is there a mini tower near here that we can go and try and clear right now? There is... Ooh, what is that? There's a giant tree off in the distance. That looks pretty cool. Okay, hold on one second. Getting sidetracked here. Let's go take a look at this, unless our frame rate starts dropping, because there is a massive tree getting loaded in. It looks like maybe there's a village. There's also a dragon that I really don't want to have aggro on us. So, what do we got here? This is not a village. Never mind. It's just a little house out on the side here. We have a chest in there. Full of cobwebs. Great. Is this tree going to be a little mini dungeon as well, or is this just a tree that spawns in? I also want to just summon these guys real quick and see... How well they do, I suppose. They're not automatically aggroing. There we go. Now it's aggroing. You guys going to swoop down and kill the spider or no? Ah, yeah, that's two hits, three hits, four hits, five, and six hits to kill a spider. I guess that's kind of good. Although this doesn't look like it has an entrance to the tree, so maybe it's just a giant tree. So we'll kind of just leave it be. On the way back here, there is a new monster that I've never seen before. It's also about dead. So I don't know why that's happening, but uh, can we kill this? Cool. <laughs> it was just about dead anyways. And we got... Uh, whatever that name is. I don't want to even try and pronounce it, but we got a claw from it. I think this has also popped up once before, maybe, on the bounty board here for us to turn that in. So right now we don't have either of those, which is fine. I'm going to take the uh, anvil here because we could use it. Ooh, you know what? Hold on. We also, I think, are high enough level now to be able to take one of these enchantment tables, although we don't have a diamond pick right now, so it's probably not going to let me take it. And it did. Okay, never mind. We're good. I don't need to come back to this village ever again. We can come and actually take the books, I guess, to make the uh, enchantment room, but we got a table, we got an anvil now, we are good to go. Our grass is also on the final stretch here. If it grows diagonally, we can get it into the little pen there and we can start having some wool being generated, so that's neat. Our Aegis dudes should have despawned by now. Let me let me get my stuff sorted here. I want to go down here in the cave system and see how well these guys work down here because... On the surface there, they weren't super great, but, I mean, ideally, maybe in a closed quarter here, they're going to work a little bit better. 
They're not really aggroing on stuff. Let's see if they go into the dungeon with us. They didn't follow us in. They decided to just start fighting stuff out here. But that's actually going to be kind of good for us, right? Because now we get a little bit of XP. And if the, uh, the thing keeps spawning uh, skeletons, we can at least farm them up a little bit as well. Which is also kind of helpful. We got a like a bucket i don't know what that was the thing that we picked up was a skeleton skull not a bucket so that was pretty stupid but we also completed this thing earlier right we get a front horn thing so that's a new hat for us let's see what that looks like it goes on our forehead i kind of like that but i i kind of want to stick with my potato man here i also want to do one more thing here before we wrap up today's episode so we are going to need some glass and we're also going to need a couple of planks and i want to make a jar so this and then that and we can make five of them cool and with this i want to head on over man i can't remember where anything's stored at but i want to head on over to the dark oak forest that we have and while we're in here we want to keep an eye out for the pixies and there's one right there so we can shove it in a jar and with that, can we place it on the ground? It does produce light. Look at that. That is great. That's what we want. So let's... Oh, no. It broke It broke out of it when we break it. Oh, that's not what I wanted to have happen. Okay, so they're one-time places then. Let's grab a couple more. We got five. Ooh, I don't want to fall down there. Let's grab these guys as well. Let me grab that. Cool. Two more to go. Let me grab you and you. Thank you. Where'd the jars fall at? All right, well, I don't know where those jars went. I think they might have just broken when I tried to capture them. Probably because they're not in the tree. I cut it down. I broke some leaves. They're not dropping on the floor here. And I think they also potentially break out of the jars in our inventory as well because we had three of them captured a second ago. And now we only have two. And I don't know. Maybe it's a visual thing or they are just breaking out in general here. I don't honestly know. But uh, I'm going to head back to the base before the other two break out and see if we can place them down somewhere that they're going to produce enough light that we don't have to have torches down potentially or we can shove them down in the caves if they don't break out once we place them they also just stole our boots i just realized that because we don't have step up anymore so where did those go off to now that's that's not great i should have never came over here now that i'm realizing it there's also one of the uh, the dudes that summon stuff over there which I don't think those are normally in Minecraft, right? Those are new new dudes added to this pack, I think. Okay, well, I don't know how to determine which one of these has my stuff, but we're just going to kill every single one of them that we see until we potentially get our stuff back. I don't really want to leave now without our boots, which I didn't realize they did that, so that was my bad for coming over here to begin with, I guess. So staying here longer is actually proving to be a little bit of a bad idea because every time they steal something, they kind of laugh at you, and uh, I don't know which one of them took the boots still. I've killed a couple more of them. I don't see the boots in any of their hands, which I don't know how to get them back now. I think it's just gone. So maybe coming into this area to try and take some of them was a bad idea. And it also looks like maybe they aren't breaking out of the uh, the bottles. It's just that they, they, they stole it out of my inventory. And I haven't left the area, so none of them despawned. It's just I don't see... I don't see any of them with the stuff in their hands. So... Yeah, maybe uh, maybe coming in here was a bad idea after all. All right, anyways, we're back in base. Let me just plop these guys down. I don't know if it's even worth doing this, but those should produce some light. It looked like at least in the in the dark forest there. Let me do this, and nope, never mind. They, if they do produce light, they don't produce it very far, so maybe they're not even worth the time here like I thought they would be. Anyways, we got two of them. They don't really light up the area like I had thought they would, so the little trip over there really wasn't worth it at the end of the day here. I do need to go back to the forest, though, with a bow and arrow or something that I can actually kill them with. That's range because the sword is not great. And uh, since we lost our boots, I guess we're rocking some, some some iron boots for the next little while. Hopefully as well, they don't despawn when I leave the game here because I don't really want to go back over there right now. And we'll hopefully be able to get our stuff back next episode or in between episodes here. I'll try and go back over there and see if I can get them to drop our boots at least. Anyways, while we were there, we finally got another piece of stuff to drop from one of the monsters. So we got a tail that says it works like a base. And it does indeed. Cool. And we can plop that on there. And 
I don't know if the stats are too much different, but we still need the front end of it, it looks like, before we can actually turn this into a weapon. All right, I found the thing that was carrying our boots. I shot it with our bow and arrow. The bow and arrow made this a whole ton easier than trying to climb trees and hit them with swords, but we got our stuff back. I don't want to come back in this area. There's also a giant tree monster thing that our two ages went and fought, and it only took a smidge of its health off, so... I am not going to chance it. I'm just going to run away. But anyways, that is where we're going to be wrapping up today's episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed as always, and I will catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.